Dan? Yes. Do you like rice pudding? I love rice pudding. You know, my mama made rice pudding when I was a little kid and I didn't like it. Well, my mother never made it. And so I don't <laughs> make it that way. Uh, we're going to do it in the slow cooker. Well, anything in the slow cooker is okay with me. Me too. Yeah. And we've got in there a half a gallon of milk. That's a lot of milk. That's a lot of milk. And yeah. here is a full cup of rice. All right. That's not enough rice to what make that thick, is it? No. It will, trust me. You promise? Yeah. All right. And then you put in a full cup of sweetening. That can be sugar. In this case, it's going to be Splenda. But I just want to prove to you that you can do it either with sugar or Splenda. And you said we can do this with brown sugar, too. I've, I think you can. I've never tried it. I might try that. But it I believe it would taste wonderful. And we put just a pinch of salt. And that's all you have to put in at this stage. You that was pretty easy. Stir that up. Oh, this whole thing is easy. Uh, different from a lot of slow cooker recipes, this one is not one that you can just turn on, leave the house, come back eight hours later and it's done. Well, you might end up with a big bubbly mess on the bottom. Well, I certainly did when I did that. <laughs> uh, I would never do that. <laughs> no, I thought not. Uh, put it on high, all right. let it cook for an hour and a half. Okay. Then violating all the rules of slow cooking, take the lid off, stir it up good, all right. add some nutmeg, or if you're your case, you think cinnamon, but I you're wrong. Cinnamon's right. <laughs> uh, nutmeg. Uh, and then let it cook for another hour and a half on uh -huh. high, but sort of watch it toward the end of that. Give it a stir about an hour, hour and 15 minutes into that. And if it's thick enough, Turn stop. It okay. If not, let it cook a little longer. Now, the question is how thick is thick enough? Uh, That's well, a good point. That depends on how you like it. All right. Uh, I you, like it pretty thick. Okay. I like it sort of creamy. Okay. I'll take a look at the centerpiece while I get one to show you that is made to look creamy because it is and by the way if you'd like you can add some butter in that first one you I don't usually have to like yeah I do too this one has some <laughs> butter but uh, it will continue to thicken after you turn it off and you just chill it after that and after that you chill it right. and you're ready to go uh, there you see is a pretty now isn't that a pretty little dessert that's beautiful has a lot of flavor uh, if you just have to yeah you can put raisins in it <laughs> I, str other dried fruit too. I strongly recommend against it. Okay. Uh, because they get soggy. They, when they cook that long, they get overcooked and they're unpleasant. But I absolutely love this rice pudding, uh, even though it's not made the way my mama made it. Now, uh, I will tell you that I tell you all this and some additional details if you write and get the recipe. So you know how to do that. Chef's recipe, 6450 Paper Mill Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37919, setting self address stamped envelope. Go to local8now.com, and there I give you all the choices. Well, that looks pretty to good stop. to me. And it's good, and it's easy, and I think even kids would eat it. Uh, I guarantee mine would. All right.